Okay, when it comes to subtracting um, mixed numbers, there are a couple of odd things that happen. And so we need to talk about those. And I want you, everybody to keep in mind that you have borrowed before whenever we were working with just um, subtract regular plain old subtraction. And those rules don't change. We're just going to apply them to fractions. So here we have our problem that's 8 and a third minus 4 and 3 fifths. I'm going to write it up and down because I think it's a little bit easier to deal with uh, when we write it up and down. Now, first things first, we need a common denominator. So the common denominator in this case would have to be 15. We've already worked with 3 and 5 quite a bit. So we would have to multiply 3 times 5. So we're going to do the same thing to the top. 1 times 5 would be 5. And here on our second fraction, we'd have to multiply by 3 to get 15. So 3 times 3 would be 9. Now I'm going to recopy my whole numbers. And let's start doing the subtraction. Now the first thing, the first problem we have here is we cannot take 9 from 5. But if you'll remember, whenever we bar, when we just did plain old subtraction, we borrowed from the one right next to it. Well, we can do that here also. If we borrow one of these, <clears throat> remember, this is the ones position. So we have to add it as one. But because this is a fraction in the form of 15 pieces, that one has to be added as 15 fifteenths. So what we really have now is 7 and 20 over 15. When we add 5 plus 15, we get 20 of those 15th pieces. Now we can subtract 4 and 9 fifteenths from that. So 20 fifteenths minus 9 fifteenths would be 11 fifteenths. And now 7 minus 4 would be 3. So this is what happens when we have to borrow using um, in dealing with fractions. We have to make sure that we borrow that 1 and we turn it into whatever size pieces these are. Let's do another one. <clears throat> Here we have a problem that says 7 minus 2 and 5 sixths. So I'm going to rewrite this 7 minus 2 and 5 6. Now remember, when we do add and subtract, we sub add and subtract the uh, fraction parts and then the whole number parts. We can't take 5 6 away from nothing. So we're going to have to borrow from the 7. Well, when we borrow 1, we have to add that in the fractional position as 1. Since we're working with six size pieces here, let's change that 1 into 6 over 6. When we add 1, it's the nicest thing to add because we can do it in any increments we want as long as it is the same number over the same number. Now we can go ahead and do our subtraction. So 6 over 6 minus 5 over 6 would be 1 over 6. And for our whole number parts, 6 minus 2 would be 4. So our answer is 4 and 1 sixth. 